The day that I installed the dual battery isolator, I also installed something else to my solar system, and that was a couple of these little Titan fans. I first found this fan by accident. I was actually trying to figure out how to take out um, the rear window, and you'll see there's actually another Titan fan back there, and put in a roof vent. I've seen the roof vent install on the back of the van installed inside the window on two different notable vans. One of them was uh, Bob Wells from Cheap RV Living. His assistant Casey has her roof vent installed on the back window. And then Maddie Van, van Halen from the Van Life channel of the same name. I mean, it's basically his channel, but he lives in a van and so most of his content is about that. Maddie Van Halen also has, his, has a roof vent installed on the back window as opposed to on the roof. And the thing about my roof is it is full. I have a ladder up there, I have the cargo carrier, and I have 300 watts of solar. I don't want to get rid of any of that. So I knew if I was going to add a roof vent fan, it most likely would have to be the back window version. Now, I've also seen the back window version, you know, other places as well. Um... But, like, that was the version I was pursuing and just doing some research online when I saw a video by Slim Potato Head about this fan. I have a multi-purpose fan, and it's, uh, it was sent to me by Titan Technologies. It's an RV fan, reversible airflow, quick heat transfer, low power consumption, and silent operation. Well, you can never have too many fans in an RV, especially if it gets really hot and you don't have air conditioning like me. The version that he reviewed did not have a remote. In fact, one of his notes after the review is it would be easier to operate if it had a remote because it was in a, it was on a roof of an A-line trailer and it wasn't particularly easy for him to hit the controls from up in the air. And so, like, he was like, oh, this is, you know, this thing is great. Um, it, it's great in my roof vent. It's very flexible, but I wish I had a remote. So at some point, they must have taken his notes and then, like, transferred it to the actual fan. It doesn't seem like this fan is very popular because after finding Slim Potato Head's video, I couldn't find another video about it really except the company's video for it. Um, so I don't know how many people it got sent out to, how many people actually used it, or anything like that. But once I saw that video, even though it is a roof vent fan, I was like, well really, it just needs ventilation and a square to sit in. And I'm like, all of my windows open, my two back windows open, my side windows open, like they all, the side windows tilt out this way, and the back window tilts out this way. And so both of those windows have ventilation as it were which is all really a roof vent hood does it just opens up to let air flow in and then you have the fan that can go backwards and exhaust out and go forward and, and send air through if you add a fan to your roof vent and this is just a option for a fan that you could put in that roof vent that wouldn't necessarily be the company's fan and it has extendable bars on the side so you can fit it to multiple roof vent sizes hopefully. Um, in Slim Potato Head's case, when he did the review, it was actually too small with the, with the, sorry, the fan fit perfectly in his roof vent, but the actual bars that you extend to like fit it to your window, he actually didn't um, need to use. The exact fan itself fit there, so he made his own attachment to attach it to the window. But anyway, after watching this review, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this would work for me. If I put one in the side window, in the back window, and then still had my Sirocco fan in the front, would I be able to create enough airflow to cool things down on a general basis? Um, I know people are always trying to get like AC to work in the van. The fact is, AC takes a lot of power. Fans take less power um and that is good like i'm always in the pursuit of what's going to be the solution that uses the least amount of electricity not making the electricity do something it can't really do 
in a limited state in a van. Um, and so while, and because I had to run power for it, I f figured I would go ahead and take care of it while I had the van all pulled apart and I was adding the dual, um, the dual battery isolator. And so I did this project the same day. Um, I didn't want to stick it in the same video because I wanted that video exclusively focused on the fact that I had installed dual battery isolator and I didn't really film a lot about the install because there wasn't much to it. Um, so let's talk about this fan. So I personally have seen nothing like this fan that runs on 12 volt power. There are window fans, there are small window fans, but I've never seen anything like this that runs on 12 volt power. Because it is built for RV applications, what I also like is that without turning it around, it actually has the power to change so you can make it either pull air out or push air forward, which is really great flexibility to have especially in the way I've set my fans up with three points of contact and I've had a lot of fans that worked but they needed somewhere to sit they needed to be clipped to something etc etc and what I continuously ran into is I when they didn't like completely fail and they were a little bit too cheap when they actually worked the other problem was usually where am I going to put this thing where am I going to sit this thing I had a Ryobi um, fan which ran on the same batteries as the uh, power tools for the longest time and it worked great. There was literally nothing wrong with that fan. It was actually pretty powerful. But I never had anywhere to sit it. Um, I never really, it never really like fit in a place anywhere in the van comfortably. Um, a lot of fans, because I have such a small living space, I end up kicking things or, or things like that. I've had so many people suggest like rolling chairs and stools and all these things to sit on to cook. The best place for me to cook from is from my bed. And the great thing about the new build, I know Dawn, you haven't done a tour yet, um, is that I can easily get to my stove sitting on my build. So I uh, build on my bed. So I don't really need an additional seating to use the little bit of floor space I have. The little bit of floor space I have is enough for me to manipulate from point A to point B to point C and then sit back down on the bed. <laughs> like there's not, a, there's not a lot of movement around, you know, and I can go at an angle really. I mean like imagine, because basically my countertop's on this side, but since the camera's this way, we're just gonna do it this way. I can do like this and do all the cooking stuff I need to do without really having to like leave the bed to do it so I don't really need like floor space in the middle but the point is there was never any place to sit a van like I needed my surfaces for other things so I've always struggled with finding like the right fan that will work for my situation another thing is I always find it easier to just hook things up to the solar system things that can be like all a part of the power system be it my lights or my fan are just a little bit easier they're just a part of one system and then there's only one system to keep charge so with battery powered fans you have to worry about having the battery to switch out when it runs out um, with power fans you have to worry about how they plug in so there's a whole lot of considerations when it comes to power in a van in general and especially with fans and fan placement because usually if it's hot you just want to sit it somewhere where it's giving you air or you know taking the hot air out and like then not have to deal with it or touch it and also not have it be in your way in a way that's actually keeping you from doing things and so I've had a lot of problems with fans either because of their awkward size nowhere to put them no good way to mount them and now I feel like having two of these fans have actually created a wonderful system I mean it was a little warm earlier today so what I did is I actually have that fan blowing air I have this one in reverse so it's hopefully pulling some hot air out and then I have my Sirocco fan in front of me actually also blowing air forward so I have air being pulled in this way and then air out that way but I might change that up maybe um, maybe like that one needs to be in reverse and this one needs to be helping this one bring cool air in but the good thing about these fans is they're completely manipulatable even the Sirocco fan I can it's a gimbal fan so I can slip it around so using these two in combo with that fan is really working out for me so this fan is about $97 on Amazon which is not cheap but I also I've never seen anything like this um, I don't know it's anything that I could find over the counter so, you know, I got the fan and I, I paid for this fan. I didn't, you know, it wasn't a gift. <laughs> it wasn't given to me. Like, I bought this fan. 
Slim Potato had mentioned this in his video, but the greatest thing about this fan is that it's flexible. It doesn't need to be a window fan. You can also either put like a, a standard 12 volt socket on it or hook it to your solar system like I did. I've seen reviews of this and other products where they're like, well, I'm just upset that I had to go buy a 12 volt socket separate and that exists for a reason and so you have the flexibility to hook it up to your system or not hook it up to your system any way you want to you can basically add any kind of plug to it that you want and hook it up any way you want which i think is actually pretty cool um and even if you have a roof vent if you do have a window that opens and you're trying to create some extra airflow instead of putting in like two roof vents which some people do they'll do one in the back and the front um you could also do it at, at an angle and possibly get the same effect. I mean, you're basically trying to have a system where air, air is coming in um, and hot air is being pulled out. So you, you create sort of a cool air vacuum is basically what you're trying to create. So you could do that as easily with a roof vent and one of these fans as you could two roof vents, in my imagining, if you have a van where a window opens. And so like, that's a really nice feature of this fan. So the package itself comes with the fan, with the brackets attached, directions of course. Um, you get the remote, you get a power cord without an attachment, so you'll either need to hook this directly to your 12 volt system or add one of those 12 volt socket plugs or some other method that adds power to it, but you do get the power cable unattached to anything. So that part you have to handle on your own. In um, Slim Potato Head's video, he adds a 12 volt socket because he wanted the flexibility to take it out of the roof vent and use it as a table fan or use it in other applications. He was also just reviewing it. He had no intention of making it like a permanently set thing in his A-liner. Um, then you get an assortment of brackets. Um, they are made for different size uh, roof vent openings basically um and so it's just an assortment of brackets you don't have to use them all honestly you don't have to use any of them the two arms that pull out do have a hole in the side so for this window right here i used one of the brackets from out the package and then on the other side i just put a screw in with a washer because of the way that windows openings made i couldn't get any of their brackets in there so i just custom made something to attach to the window on that side for my back window, I was able to use the L brackets on both sides. The bottom of the window was just slightly almost too wide for it. But the good thing is I can close the window with the fan in it because of the way the brackets are set. set. And I can even have my window covers in behind the fan. I'm sure that disturbs the airflow. But if I needed to have the window covers in behind the fan, I could do that and still have the fan on. It, airflow won't probably won't be as nice, but it's nice to know I can close the window with the window cover in it and not have to take the fan out. The fan can just stay in the window. So I don't know if anybody else is gonna be interested in this product, but for me, it's given me pretty decent options for airflow. And now that I have a pet, it's even more important to me to have those options in the van. Um, to have a way to really kind of cool things down a little more than when I was in here and I was just sweating through it if I had to. And that's my real answer to how I keep cool in the van. If I had to sweat through it, I sweat it through it until the day cooled down, you know, I, I made it work. Sometimes that meant going out and getting a cup of ice water. Um, sometimes, honestly, when it's really hot in the van, it's actually cooler outside. So if it meant like going outside and like sitting on a bench or going for a walk, sometimes I did that. Um, sometimes the answer was just get out the van and go somewhere else. And that was how I kept cool. Now that I have a pet, that option isn't like as flexible as it was. And so I kind of was looking for something that was going to help the van stay cool during the times where it might get a little bit hot um the answer is like you just look out for your situation like i have an animal to take care of sometimes people have kids to take care of sometimes people are just like i'm not dealing with this heat and i need to solve it but i knew ac is not the solve like there is no good ac unit that will actually be affordable for me at this stage in my van life with the amount of money i have and all of that and this is an affordable solution it's not cheap by any means you can get a fan way cheaper than 97 dollars. you may even be able to find a small window fan that can fit in this window the same way 
for $97, but it's going to be hard to find one that's 12 volt and one that's really suited and built for an application like this. And I think that's what makes this a little better. As soon as I saw it in Slim Potato Head's video, I was so intensely interested in this thing. And I was like, this solves my problem because like, what is the actual roof vent hole actually gonna give me but what I already have by tipping the window open and ventilation. Now true, a roof vent could actually open more than my current window could, but I don't think it really matters in the end game. It's just about getting cool air in and getting hot air out. And so if you can create that cycle then you've sort of covered your bases. Um, so I'm gonna run with this system. I haven't really had a massively hot day. To see how much it cools down the van. There is a hum to it. The box says it's silent, but that's a lie. It's not really silent. It definitely has a noise um, around the midpoint of its speed. But I love that it's reversible. I love that it's attachable to the window. I love that I don't have to take it in and out of the window. Like it's just always there. I love that there's enough space for me to close the window, have a window cover, and have the fan in there and to flexibly manipulate these things as needed. Um, and I think that's all I have on this fan. If you have any questions about this fan, feel free to leave those questions in the comments. Um, I think I'm at or close to the point <laughs> where I'm ready to tour this van, but I don't want to tour it. Like right now, I am in, I'm in a parking lot, basically. In a parking lot. I don't want to tour the van in the parking lot. I want to have a pretty place to tour the van. <laughs> I like doing van tours in like pretty scenic places. And right now I'm not in pretty scenic places. So that's why I have not done an updated van tour since the new van build. I just haven't been in a place where I'm like, oh, this feels nice. I like doing it here. Um, and I just have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Uh, I just rambled again. Again, if you have any questions about the fan, uh, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll try to answer them as much as I can. I was highly interested in this fan and honestly Slim Potato Head does a better review of it than I have done and it's at Thorough. I do think it was an earlier model of the fan because the version he had didn't have a remote and that was one of his major complaints. Um, but otherwise I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this setup. I'm happy with my fan setup finally. And I don't feel like I need a roof vent now. Like I feel like the way things are arranged right now, it'll handle my cooling needs when those needs come up pretty efficiently.